chemical signals that I've already told you about are things like hormones and growth factors, another group called cytokines. Viruses induce the production of interferons, which were called that because they seem to interfere with viral growth. Well, interferons are cytokines. Interleukins are another kind of cytokine. Here I just want to mention that there are some of these that our own bodies produce for the purpose of making other cells respond. And very often the response, not always, but very often the response is to control gene expression. Now, chemical signals, signals outside of a cell, can convey to information to the cells either directly, that is to say by getting into the cell, interacting with a receptor molecule, usually a receptor protein in the cell, and then going about the business of getting a, a cell to respond, or by signal transduction. And this is the case for many cytokines, growth factors, and hormones that are too big or too highly charged to actually get inside the cell. These kinds of molecules are likely to have cell surface receptors to which they bind, and that binding elicits a response inside the cell accomplished by this process of signal transduction, which by the way, if you remember, will always involve changes in the conformation of proteins, in this case the conformation of membrane proteins. And those changes in shape of membrane proteins elicit new enzymatic and other binding activities that eventually convey a signal from outside the cell to inside the cell.